In this video we will see how to calculate design load on steel beam. Here is the example problem. Steel floor beams arranged as shown in figure support a reinforced concrete slab which carries a screed. Calculate the total uniform distributed load on each beam using this design data. Values of slab thickness, screed weight, imposed load on slab and mass of steel beams are available in the design data. In the figure, you can see beams are marked as steel floor beams. This is the beam length. And this is the spacing between two beams. To solve this problem, we have to know the unit weight of the concrete. Normally, we take unit weight of concrete as 25 kN per cubic meters. You don't have to remember this value. If this value is needed in an exam, the value should be given in the data sheet of the paper. Let's we solve this problem step by step. Concrete slab self weight is equal to thickness of the slab times unit weight of concrete. Steel beam self weight is equal to mass of steel beam times the acceleration due to gravity of Earth. In this figure, you can see three beams. We have to select one beam for the calculation. So we select middle beam. Load of this shaded area is borne by the middle beam. Width of the shaded area is 4 meters. Length of shaded area is 6 meters. So, the area of shaded area is 6 meter times 4 meters. Next, we will calculate loads on steel beam. First load is load of the screed. It's a dead load. 1.2 is the screed weight, which is given in the design data. 6 times 4 is the shaded area. Once we multiply these three values, we can get the load of screed as 28.8 kN. Second load is load of the concrete slab, which is one of dead loads. 3.75 is the self-weight of the slab, which we calculated earlier before. 6 times 4 is the shaded area. So the load of the slab is 90 kN. Next load is load of the steel beam. It's also one of dead loads. 0.59 is the self-weight of the steel beam which we calculated earlier before. 6 is the length of the steel beam. So the load of the steel beam is 3.5 kN. Next, we have to calculate imposed load on the slab. 5 is the imposed load on slab which is given in the design data. 6 times 4 is the shaded area. So the imposed load is 120 kN. Now we can find total dead and imposed loads. Get the sum of these three values. We can get total dead load as 122.3 kN. Since we have only one imposed load, total imposed load will be 120 kN. Now we can find the design load. There are two types of loads, which are load for serviceability limit state and load for ultimate limit state. By substituting total dead and imposed loads to these equations, we can easily find the loads for serviceability and ultimate limit states as shown in the slide. It is a simple substitution and simple mathematics. So these are total loads. Which means they are like point loads. We need to find distributed loads. For that, we have to divide these values by the beam length. So this is the final answer.
Thank you. I hope learn the lesson. If you have a question, please feel free to write it in the comment area. If this tutorial helps to your studies, please hit a like and subscribe us. See you soon in another lesson.